it is now 7.30 a.m. I'm still quite tired and I don't know what I'm looking at because I don't have my contacts in yet. Um, but today is going to be quite a busy day. So I'm just going to start my morning as usual with a yoga practice. Then I'll wash up, get ready, make myself some coffee and then catch the bus. And then update you guys on my experiment plans for today. I'm on my way walking to the bus stop right now and thank goodness I'm not late. <laughs> over to my building right now so I thought that I'd just sort of tell you guys what I'm doing for today so yesterday I've extracted some DNA from some embryonic stem cells basically we've transfected them with um, something and then we've selected a few clones and we just need to check if they're correct by using PCR so I have six or seven clones to go through and then 24 primers I think for each one. Um, after that we're also in the process of precipitating more DNA from more embryonic stem cell clones so I'll be doing that probably whilst my PCR reaction is running in the machine. So that's sort of the plan for today. It's actually not too bad but it's just like scary when I heard like 20 plus different primers to do. But yeah, the weather is looking really nice today, but don't be fooled, it's actually really, really cold and there's frost everywhere. So basically here I've got my DNA that I precipitated yesterday and it was left in the incubator to just resuspend. Now I'm just going to take a nano drop to just check its concentration before I start my PCR reaction. So this is a nano drop machine and I essentially load my samples over there and it takes a measurement. So I'll need to be cleaning this and then loading a blank and yeah.
So here I've got my samples in my 96 well plate and I'll be putting them into the PCR machine and it looks like this so I can fit maximum of four plates into one machine and essentially PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction so the reaction would normally consist of your template DNA which you want to amplify a lot of and then primers so a forward and reverse primer a DNA polymerase so in this case I'm using a long amp tech and finally just some water to dilute it down so during a PCR reaction, there are several steps. The first one here is polymerase activation. Then here we need to de, de so <laughs> here we need to denature our DNA double strand, and that's at a really high temperature. Then here is the annealing step, which is where our primers will bind to the single-stranded DNA, and then the extension step. And the time for the extension here depends on how long your DNA or like expected amplicon sizes and then the final extension and then it will be stored at 4 degrees. So here are the number of cycles that I'm going for and it's going to take a total of 3 hours and 36 minutes. So I stopped filming for the second half of the day because things just got a bit hectic and then I did something so stupid which is why I'm now here at like 7pm still. But basically I miscounted the number of wells that were on my comb so I thought I could load enough samples but I miscounted by like one or two so I didn't pour like enough gels and stuff. So basically I needed to pour another gel, which then took another hour to set and then another hour to run when it would have taken like two hours less to actually complete this. So now I'm just gonna run my gel. The results from the previous gel that I already ran don't even look like too great. So today is quite a tiring day, but here's the gel and we'll see how this one goes. So I put it here on the machine, it goes inside, and then the software. Now I'm gonna position my gel. So I just put this. So I position it here like this, and then I check the monitor over there. So it looks good. That doesn't look too horrendous, but it doesn't look great either. <laughs> I couldn't bear to throw away my gels, so... <sighs> so 
So I'm now leaving my building. I came out like 20 minutes ago, but then the bus just cancelled on me. So I went back inside and waited for a bit. And now I'm just gonna come out here in the freezing cold and wait for the bus. It's actually so cold. 